in the last episode we had a well-deserved win against barcelona and we ended the episode with a really bad loss against napoli which took us down to second in our Champions League group, but I mean, it really doesn't matter because we're already through because SC Braga and Union Berlin cannot reach us no matter how hard they try. The good thing though is that in the La Liga, we are still undefeated and we are three points ahead of Atletico Madrid, but if we win this match against Granada, we'll be going back up to six points ahead of them. We're going with our default lineup here and let's see if we can get the win. Yes, we do. It's a 3-0 win yet again. We have a lot of 3-0 wins this season, but Rodrigo, Vinicius and Bellingham get the goals for the team. Next up, we have the match against Real Betis. I will be playing the highlights of this one. There isn't really anything that I have to do, basically, in terms of management and all that they have a standard tactical vision i think i want Joseli to start in this match and i also want kepa to play he's already on 82 that's good for him kamavinga i have no idea why the hell you are so low on health but uh i think i want ardagula to play in this match and tony cruz maybe no i think i'm good with this yeah i'm good with this but i just accidentally played the full match of this and i was supposed to play the highlights but i mean we move let's just see if we can get the win here i hope we can i think this is fakir i actually don't know if that's him or not i doubt that's him but yeah sorry i don't really know a lot of players outside of arsenal players but well we're starting now and let's hope that we can get the well-deserved win the win that we probably do deserve or right, they're having a really good attack here and i feel like my controller is actually having a little bit of delay i'm not sure though but let's see if we can get vinicius through here uh probably going to be a goal definitely vinicius is never ever going to miss from there that's a really good start and a really good goal or right, we're doing a really good job in defense here we are mar mar we're marking them uh, all right all right all right okay so i just jinxed myself there <laughs> All right, so this guy is called Iglesias, if I'm all wrong. I have, I have no idea what it's called, actually. But it's a, it's, it's, it's a good shot. It's a good finish. And it probably was very much avoidable. They've been in our in front of the um, post for like a longer time there. And it was, it was really avoidable. I just got confused there. Or like, I got distracted because I started talking. So, you know what? Next time, I'm just not going to say anything just for the sake of my own sanity because I hate losing so much. Oh, my God. Oh my god. How do you even score that way? And how the hell do you stop OBS from lagging this way? Because he actually makes the game lag a lot. He's 40 60, so I actually, I actually don't even know why he's lagging, to be honest. But whatever, though. I mean, it's still playable. That's actually a really good finish, and well. Uh, I actually don't know. I, I need to like focus up on this game and make sure I, I do get the win here. All right, so we're going to release Vinicius here and we're just not able to do that. That was a really good chance to release Vinicius there. And yeah, I have no idea why he even like fucks that pass up. I, don't, I actually don't understand why the hell I would make an interception and the game just gives it back to them for some reason. All right, so we have. Can we get Vinicius in? We can. Can we get the goal? No, we cannot. That was really close. That was really close. All right, so I'm going to figure out how to get past the lag because it's actually not very. Oh my God, he deserved that goal. That was Ardagula. He really deserved that goal. To be honest, that's so sad. All right, what am I doing here? Nothing. Oh my god, that is one hell of a pass. Alright, so we are losing 3 1. <laughs> hey, oh my god. And the fact that I'm actually playing this match is even shocking me because I'm not supposed to be losing 3 1 to freaking real betters. What the hell am I doing? It was a good finish, but I expected Kepa to do a lot better than that, to be honest, because. I mean, I tried to like set the chip trap for for care, but for some reason it didn't work out. And this guy is being so slow to make that freaking pass. Why? No, we're not. Vinicius, please. All right, so this is probably three two. Most definitely three two. Please don't fuck up. Oh my god, he actually almost screwed up. He actually almost screwed it up. To be honest, how 
how like just a little bit more power and that would have not been a goal because they hit both the top and the and the bottom right bar all right so i mean it's a it's a goal and maybe this will like inspire a comeback i think that's vinicius second goal in the match so yeah, Vinicius is actually like taking his place as top scorer in the team. It's, it's really a really bad half on my part. And I don't really like the fact that we have had such a shit half, to be honest. Our second half is up. I feel like I need I need Rodrigo in this match because I mean he's he's the one that scores in literally almost every match. He's the one that always inspires the team to like really good victories and all that. But he's nowhere to be found now. And Vinicius, maybe equalizer. Oh my god, how is that offside? Ugh. I thought I timed that really well. So I'm going to bring in Rodrigo and I'm going to bring in Cruz or Modric. I think I'm going to go for Cruz. Let's go for Modric. Absolutely hate it when they do this thing where they like try to run into my defense from the side there. That's like the most annoying thing in all of EA, to be honest. All right, we have about a little bit over 30 minutes to, to score two goals and win this match. Rodrigo. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. He just came in and already making an impact. All right, that's good. Get to Vinicius. Oh my God, we just needed to get to Vinicius there. That's all, all I needed. Just to get to Vinicius. All right, so Rodrigo. I don't understand why I can't move the ball. I cannot move the ball for some reason. Oh my god, he just left they just left him wide open. They left him wide freaking open. And let's see. Well Kepa has just given his team a chance there. Can Rodrigo do something here? No. Oh, 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 oh. Vinicius. Vinicius, what are you doing? Vinicius, please. Oh my god. And the problem not completely solved. Alright, let's get this to well, he doesn't get to Bellingham. I wanted to pass to Bellingham. I don't know what the hell. What the hell? I mean, the game is just out to get me right now. All right, we need to at least get a draw in this match. We need to at least get a draw in this match. No way, hell, I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing this freaking match. All right, Rodrigo, please. Vinicius, hat trick. That's great. No way expected, but it's happened. And let's just do. This to the Real Betis fans to, to let it pain them, let it enter their souls. <laughs> Alright, we are doing well with the interceptions, to be honest. And let's release Vinicius here. Rodrigo, maybe. Oh, that's so close. Alright, I'm bringing Charmany off. I'm bringing um, Cruz off. Once again, I'm really sorry for the lag. I'm going to just, like, try to figure out a way to um, fix it. Because I, I don't know why. It's actually lagging with OBS because it doesn't lag with the normal NVIDIA recorder that I use. That I used to use normally. Alright, let's just try and intercept as best as possible. And try and go for this winner. Oh my god. Kepa, come on. That is such a shit keeper, to be honest. Alright, we need to work on our pressing game right here. Modric was just the worst pressing to be in that area of battle, to be honest. We have very few minutes left. Okay. Alright, please, 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 please. Oh my god. Oh my god! Final whistle and not to be for Real Madrid. Have to so that's the first what loss. Well, we lost against Real Betis. Not really what I was expecting when I actually played that match. I was very confident we were going to get the win there. But too bad we do not get the win, which is sad. But next up we have Union Berlin in the in the Champions League. I'm going to be going straight into this match. I'm going to be playing the highlights. Hopefully, I don't play the freaking full match. They use a counter-attack, so I mean we should be able to hold them. To be honest, we should we should be able to hold them. So playable highlights. Right. Let's go. All right. So this is the last match of the Champions League group stage. So let's try and go out with the bag. It's playable. I mean, it's completely relative on how 
how EA feels like. If they feel like just making my players do shit, then that's exactly what's going to happen. But course. now we go far post. Chouameni to Valverde, who does not, in, in fact, the make the most of that. And so we lost the ball there. So they have a counter attack, which I hope we should be able to counter. He's just going to play the ball, right? He did not. All right. So let's see if we can stop this from happening. Counter attack of our own. Vinicius to Bellingham. And I missed the pass I was looking for to Rodrigo. And oh my God, I just wanted a... A, a, a one touch shot there i wanted to like shoot on the first touch but we have a long cross here and vinicius looks like yeah he's not in it really really <laughs> oh my god okay so they have a counter attack of their own now and yeah i mean we're probably losing all the matches in this episode for some reason i have no idea what the hell is going on and that is out yeah all right so we have a counter attack here we probably have another attack after this one so let's hope that vinicius does the needful yeah that's a good run and i think he should be good yeah that's a goal and that's one one go for vinicius he scored like crazy in this match and i'm loving that and we have another counter attack and i think rodrigo should be on this I don't know. I'm just going to play forward. And whoever gets it, gets it. And I think it's Rodrigo. All right. So Vinicius, don't stop the run. Yeah, he stopped the freaking run for some reason. All right. So that's 2-1. Good. Good. Um, what do you call it? Good counter-attack. Good shot. Good finish from Rodrigo. And they have a counter-attack of their own in the 77th minute. So let's try and work on not continuing here because for some reason we are continuing like beans oh my god what is that how did you just run past the freaking defense like that he didn't score he didn't score that's crazy but we have a counter attack we have vinicius we have rodrigo and i think this is modric with it and let's give it to vinicius and no, it's, that will work out that way but that's the end of the match we do win it 2-1 was pretty tight but we are through to the round of 16 of the champions league i'm not exactly happy with that match to be honest but we have Villarreal up next this is supposed to be a really big match but we have the super cup in january and i'm actually going to be playing all the way to january so i'm probably going to bring the player that i want to bring in and i'm going to play this leg and the final of the super cup so Villarreal play with a kick and rush that is good to get past our defense but i mean our defense is way better so i'm not really I'm not really complaining or anything but i'm going to play a uh, militao in the center back position here and i'm going to give carvajal a chance I'm going to bring alba back on the bench kamavinga you haven't played in a while so let's start you for this match and we should be good let's see if we can get the win here please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already drop your comment on what you think about the series and what you would like me to do moving forward to the series and well let's go into the match all right so it's Villarreal we are playing here so they probably will have just as many attacks as we do and well our job right now is to just stop that from happening so I see Bellingham he's looking He's looking um, like the best option. It doesn't get to him though. And I have no idea what the hell happened there. I have zero idea what happened there. But we start again. Not. Long cross by Real Madrid. This is actually a really good opportunity. Really good opportunity. Let's hope that this gets to the back of the net. Yes, it does. And that is a really good goal from Vinicius. Over and over again, this guy is scoring in every single match. And that's crazy. Now they have a counter attack, and I think we can stop this before it happens. Let's just make sure he doesn't make the run. All right, everybody, that is brilliant. Counter attack gets to Bellingham, who will shoot. No, he will not, but he will shoot here, and that is a good shot. Probably should have done a power, a power shot, though, but we have. We have a really good chance here for Vinicius and Rodrigo. So hopefully he does it. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I hate it so much, to be honest. But Vinicius is through. 
and yeah it gets it gets intercepted come on guys you got this you don't got this anymore okay it was offside that is great <laughs> okay so is it a counter attack kind of thing loss yeah that makes no fucking sense at all but we have a solo run for Jose Lu. great freaking great let's hope Vinicius can get a good run here which he does not in fact get it's Chouameni to Bellingham who yeah nothing comes of that but we have a counter attack and yeah Vinicius is looking like a the best option here so I I absolutely hate it when this shit happens like what the hell is that why did he stop running because if he kept running he would have gotten the ball so I don't understand the way this game works to be honest I have no clue how the game works and i swear to god if these guys get a penalty after this i'm going to be so pissed but let's hope we score bellingham why why does that even happen but anyway we do win the match a slim win but it's still a win nonetheless and we have one more match for december which is against deportivo alaves we are first position we are three points behind in front of alisco madrid and that loss against Real Betis did not help matters at all. We're going all out here because I don't want to take any chances. Let's hope we get the win. No, we don't. It's a draw. Vinicius does get the goal. I wonder how many he has scored though. Because bro is pissed and he's scoring back to back to back. Literally, he has scored in almost every match I've played, if not all. Or stats, sorry. Let's see. He has 19 goals this season in 24 appearances. That's insane. Um, Rodrigo has 13 in 21. And Bellingham has 8 in 24. I mean, I'm actually pretty good with the way this is. Alaba has three. We're assimilating all the way to January and the transfer window is going to be open in a bit. So we have Alvaro transfer offer even before the transfer window opens. I'm not going to be using this guy in this series at all. So, I mean, it's it's a safe it's safe to sell him. He's 19. He's not going to be playing at all, to be honest. Let's, let's be frank. He's not going to be playing at all. So we are in the transfer window now. And let's take a look at the players I want to bring into the team. Okay, so for some reason, the recording stopped by itself. I don't know why I did that. So, um, it didn't capture some things. But the good news is that we have gotten Florian Vritz in the team. We have gotten Alexander-Arnold. We actually want to get a striker, but we don't have enough money to do that after getting those two players. So, what I'm going to be doing is whenever these two guys are tired, Bellingham is going to be... Um, playing in their position and I'm going to bring Florian Vritz to play in that CA position and then whoever is coming up for Vinicius or Rodrigo will play in this part of the field. And we have sold Alvaro to AC Milan, a player that I really didn't actually need to be honest. So we've actually done a couple of things since the recording cut. After the win against Valero, we drew against Deportivo Alaves 1-1. That we won against Mallorca and we won in the first match of the Copa de España 4-2 against Real Zaragoza. So now we have the match against Atletico Madrid. The last time we played against them, we didn't win the match. They play a kick and rush still. And I'm not going to play. You know, let's just do the training session just to be safe. Time to love. That's my favorite. And this is actually the one that gets me exactly what I need. I'm, I have to use my keyboard to do this for some reason. And well, I mean, let's just get through the training drill and be done with this all right Florian Vritz let's see what you got that is your first goal of the club in training though not professional not a, a competitive goal well that is good though let's see and that's where I go but we're already on an A which is good so we're going to get this to Florian Vritz once more who is probably going to score yes he does and that's the end of the training drill let's go back to my controller please so this is the team we're going for Vinicius on 91 Bellingham has clocks on 90 Alexander Arnold is the new player along with Florian Vitz, um Federico Valverde, who is currently the captain in this team, which is kind of awkward. I think I'm going to give this to Rudiger. I think that's he's just the best player to hold this. Militao and Rudiger are going to be the, the center back duo in this match, and Tuameni in the DM position. Kamavinga is not going to be starting the match. He has pretty much lost that um left center midfield position that he was playing because I got and Rich, so he's going to be coming in for Chouameni in loss now. Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this, and an atmosphere to match the mood. 
Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. All right, so we're starting the match now. The last time we played in this fixture, we drew. And well, let's just hope that we can do something better here. And I wanted to pass the Bellingham there. I wanted, I, I, I don't even know why that happens because it all looks like I don't know what I'm doing. Meanwhile, I know what I'm doing. I wanted to pass Bellingham and it's giving and, and it's giving the ball to a completely different person entirely. I like to think I got the ball there. Well, this is a really good chance for a counter attack. And let's get this to Vinicius who will have. Uh, I hate to, I hate when that happens so much. Let's get it to Mendy. Can we? No, that is freaking dumb, to be honest. But we have Florian Verts here, who has the first shot on goal. And it goes just to the post. All right, counter-attack chance. Rodrigo, please get this out to... Okay, you do not. Morata has some hops, though. I don't even know if that's Morata or no, but we've lost the counter-attack chance. Oh, we still do, kind of. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, we just need to be patient here. As patient as I possibly can. We have a lot of time in the match. And yeah, let's not play wild passes like that. Get this to Vinicius. That's not who I wanted to pass to, but okay. And we have Valverde. Who's going to give this to Rodrigo. Who does not get in the best of positions. But we do get the ball back. And let's build again. To Bellingham. To Valverde. Back to Bellingham. Oh, that's not even like that. That's not even who I, th I thought it was. Florian Verts. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. I'm, I'm trying to be really careful. I don't want to, like, give the ball away accidentally. And Bellingham. Shots. And that is a good save from Oblak. Maybe. Doesn't work out. Militao. Rudiger. Vinicius, can you get something here? And that is just disrespectful. That is just disrespectful. How the hell do you even hold that in your gloves? Good from Alexander Arnold. That is really brilliant from him. And what a stupid ass pass from Rodrigo. I mean, he could have done so much better there. Hey, that's a good save from Courtois. Really good. I had to. I had to focus there because if I said anything they probably would have scored there it's like the ball is just glued to their feet to be honest it's just outrageous sometimes finishes long gone but this can't go all the way to mendy does not i had to like change the the trajectory of the pass because i do not like this one bit i do not fucking like this one bit to be honest that was bullshit i cannot lose this match because i want to remain undefeated against this team maybe barcelona can win us but not not this team to be honest second half starts now and we have a lot of work to do because that first half i don't even think we had like a, sh a shot on goal apart from that florian rich shots so let's let's work on that we really need to work on that to be honest let's see if we can unleash finishers here and can we he's through to Florian Vritz, and I hate that. I fucking hate that so much. I tapped that thing. I tapped it, and I wanted it to go to Florian Vritz. I wanted it to go to Florian Vritz, and that happened. It went the way to Bellingham for some reason. That is that is utter bullshit, to be honest, if you ask me. That is just, that is just fucking bullshit, man. All right, so we have yet another chance here. Can we release Rodrigo? We do, kind of. Maybe. Please. And that's a good goal. That is a well worth goal between Vinicius, Florian, and Rodrigo. It's a really good goal. I hate it when this happens. Absolutely hate it when this happens. Like, like what the hell is supposed to be happening here? We need something here. We need something, whatever it can possibly be. All right. And yeah, this is probably it. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. Florian, maybe. All right, so that was as good as opportunity as any. 
and it's just gone. Okay, that is that is dangerous. But let's see what Vinicius can do here. Okay. Okay. Bellingham. Oh my god, we're unlucky. I am so unlucky right now. I am so unlucky right now. And yeah, I think I'm going to bring Bellingham up there. Uh, and then bring in Kamavinga. I think he won't have to be, you know. So let's hope this works out. Alright, so let's see if we can get well, some sort of counter attack from this. Let's get this to Birds, who can possibly not do anything yet. I, I slowed down a bit there because I thought Vinicius was going to do something sensible, which he did not. Okay, this is not good, but it's a good interception. Good interception. Let's try and free Bellingham. And this is probably going to be a goal. Probably going to be a goal. No way it's not going to be a goal. And that is the goal. Exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed. And we just have to defend our freaking lives out right now. Because anything can just happen in this match. It's a good goal from Bellingham. It was never going to miss from there. Because like I was not going to take any chances. I blasted that straight into the top right. Top bins. And yeah, that's, that's the best I could do there. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Somebody save me, please. Thank you. Just play it out as best as you possibly can. And release Bellingham again. No, we cannot. That is bad. That is bad. That is bad. Come on, guys. You got this. Please, you got this. Alaba. Who is there? No. What the hell? What the hell is this game? I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. We got this. We got this. We got this. And it just goes straight for... All right. That's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who was that that saved me? I think that is... Alexander Arnold. What, what a match. What a match, to be honest. Okay, so Bellingham and Vinicius are the ones that got the goals for us. It was a really good comeback in the second half and, well, it was much needed in our stadium at that. Cruz has officially been sold for £27.7 .7 million. And the final of the Super Cup is going to be in a couple minutes, in a, cup, in a bit. But I'm going to be playing that match at the beginning of the next episode. So you guys should definitely stay tuned for that. Cruz is going out to the team now, going all the way to Inter Milan. So, I mean, he has had a really good run in Real Madrid. We're going up against Barcelona in the final of the Super Copa. And to be honest, I wouldn't have had it any other way. So in the league, though, we are drawn on points with Atletico Madrid. Barcelona have dropped points so much because if we win the if we win this match, we're going to be 11 points ahead of them because we're going to be on 51. And Atletico Madrid is going to be three points behind us. So we absolutely need to win these matches that come back to back because Atletico Madrid is not playing in this season. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video so far, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.